How's it going guys? Kels Prime here and today I wanted to talk about free play and how it's coming along, how it plays and the problems that are associated with it. I don't really have a script for this, I am pretty much freestyling this video, but there are issues in free play that are fundamental to the way the game plays. Now as you know, I've been pretty objective up to this point with what I feel is right and what I feel is wrong and that's not going to change here. These things that I'm going to be talking about are issues that are basically currently missing from the game that actually need to be in the game in order to get it to work properly. Recently we had an event called There Be Giants and there was four titans in around the place. Of course, you go into free play, you're with four people. Nine out of ten of these people turn their VoIP communication off. There's no text chat, there's no markers on the map, there's nothing to indicate that you are fighting a titan. This creates a major problem. There's no ping system. There's no call for help. No, not like the Division 2 system. If they do that, I'm out. That is horrendous. Just putting it out there. I hate that feature. I'm constantly hearing it. So hopefully we don't get anything of that kind. But as of right now, there's really nothing to indicate to your team. And unless you go in with a fully fledged 4 stack, it doesn't work. And these issues came to life a lot when I was doing this solo. Well, I say solo, I went in with a match made group and everyone went their own way. Now I know where the titans were spawning and these people were nowhere near there. I went on to VoIP and no one was willing to communicate, no one was listening, they just completely deactivated it from the get go. And without any form of text chat or ping system, it's impossible for me to communicate with people to tell them hey guys there's a titan here let's do this or hey guys there's a world event here let's do this because if they're not close enough it simply doesn't appear on their map there's no waypoint for me to be able to instigate or highlight that i want everyone to come to this point there is nothing here in free play about this sure the core game design is fine the world is great, I really do like the world. The actual aesthetics, the design is fantastic. I stood there for a while yesterday at one of the landmarks and just observed as the sun was out and it was shining down with its god rays. It looked blinding. Even on the PS4 Pro, I was really impressed. The wildlife around you felt alive. Bit stupid, but alive. And that's fine. But the problem is... I can't do what I need to do without help. There is no type of scaling here. In Final Fantasy XIV, if you go to do a public event, which is called Fates in that game, if there's 10 of you there, that fate scales to 10 people. If there's 30 of you there, it scales to 30 of you. But the scaling is there to make the content doable by minimal numbers. Destiny 2 brings people into an instance where the public event is happening in order to group people up more and more. Features like this that I took for granted are features I'm actually missing now. These are features that Bungie have incorporated for the past 4-5 or five years that everyone took for granted. You'd run into an instance and you'd go, oh there's no one here, you'd start the public event and before you know it 4 or 5 people were there. Because they could see the public event, even though they weren't in your instance, they could see it. And as they got closer, they would spawn into your instance. This is missing from this game. And it's fundamentally missing because it only allows for four people. Now four people is enough to do this content. Absolutely. You can go and do any world event, any titan with four players. But it's getting those four players to the point. Outside of this, actually getting to the titans despite knowing where they were was a chore. I couldn't set a waypoint. I couldn't, I had no minimap to be able to look at to direct me if I'm going in the right way or not. It's a damn mess. That's the truth. It's a mess. I had to constantly stop, look at my map, go again, stop, look at my map, go again, stop, look at my map, and so forth. I shouldn't have to come out of the experience and ruin the immersion that is currently going on. And that is exactly what is happening with Freeplay. This is something that really needs to be addressed. Jonathan Warner responded to a tweet saying that the striders were removed from free play, which were supposed to be two or three 
fast travel points, in essence social hubs within the free play environment. They were removed in favour of the launch bay. I mean, why? Why not have both? The striders would have been great. You could have fast travelled to a strider, checked your gear out that you've been collecting, emptied your loot stash, and then continued out again without impeding that immersion. Currently, that's not the case. If you run out of stash space that you can currently hold, you have to go back to Fort Tarsis or to the launch bay and empty it out and then come back. And I don't know if the striders would have required loading. I don't know if it would have been minimal loading, considering it's in the same instance. What I do know is that the current system that they removed is probably not the best idea. And if they can bring these back into Anthem's free play, it would be a godsend. World events that appear on the map. No one knows about them, as I mentioned before. World events need to be highlighted on the map. If there's no ping system, if there's no waypoint, if there's no way for me to communicate to you, we need a visual aid to get people from point A to point B in order to do these world events. If a actual event like There Be Giants is taking place, and I've actually activated a fight with a titan, that should be visible for everyone on the map to come and help out. We need visual indicators for world events. This is something that has to be done. There's no denying this and no taking it away. Because what this leads to is you dying and then respawning back somewhere completely different and resetting the instance. Now let me give you an example of what happened when I actually played with a friend doing the event. We went in, started fighting the titan, my friend went down. Just before the titan went crazy and self-destructed. He didn't get credit for this. It's not his fault that he can't respawn. It's a free play event. There is no restriction. Why can he not respawn? He should be able to respawn. Not two miles away. Not in another galaxy. Not in another solar system. Hell, not in another universe. He should respawn right next to where he died. Much like every other game does. I don't understand why Anthem finds the need in order to respawn you in another universe. Because by the time you come back from that universe and get to this solar system and to this planet, the event is long gone. The Titan is long dead. You'll never make it back. You'll never make that world event back. It's gone. You don't get rewarded for it because you died. And if people don't notice that you're dead, because the widget simply doesn't do a good job. Yes, there's an indication on the widget that your teammate has gone down, but there's no announcement from the cipher. There's nothing, no visual cue for you to notice if you're in the heat of battle. There's no sound cue other than your friend turning around and saying, effing this, I'm down again. But why do I need to rely on that in order to be able to know that my teammate is down? If I'm playing in free play with three other randoms, I can't rely on them turning around and saying, fuck this shit, I'm down again. I, I can't rely on that because they're not talking. So communication is a massive problem. Mini maps, everything in free play just needs to improve. And currently, honestly, despite free play being so much fun, it's in such a bad place with all of these features missing that it really needs an update and it needs it fast because if Cataclysms comes along and these issues have not been addressed, unless you're in a stack team, I'm telling you from now, don't bother. Because if people aren't going to communicate, you are done and you are not doing that content and you are going to be alienated from that content. Now, like I said, this is, I'm being brutally honest here and I have been from the very beginning. Where I've been excited, I've mentioned that I've been excited. Where I've been disappointed, I've said so. I'm enjoying the base game, actually a lot. There are other issues with the base game that annoy me, like the number of conversations, but that's for my impressions video and I will leave that there. Free play is something that has the potential to be magical, but it's so damaged with everything that's going on. And it's so hindered and crippled with the lack of features to communicate, to inform people, to be able to empty your stash to be able to just do certain things that are so basic in nature. It's so fundamentally broken in that respect that the good points in free play 
that allow you to free roam anywhere you want, get into battles wherever you want, challenge yourself, go farming, go into dungeons and clearing stuff. These things are completely overshadowed. There was multiple times where I simply could not see where my teammates were, and these were friends I was playing with. The compass at the top just does such a horrendous job, I had to open the map. A minimap would have indicated for me exactly where they were for me to see. The compass doesn't even highlight them half the time if they're beyond a certain range. It needs to change, it needs to fix, and fundamentally these need to come in before the cataclysm. In fact, I would say a lot of these features need to come in within the next 2-3 weeks. Anthem hasn't had the best start, it's had a rocky start at best, it's pretty much early access for the most part, especially on PC. On console, it's really not that bad. I'm a PS4 player, so I can only judge on the PS4, but I've only experienced a fraction of the issues that other people are experiencing. However, what I can say is that the issues that I'm experiencing aren't bugs. They're missing features. They're features that aren't in the game that need to be in the game. And I really hope Bioware is gonna watch this video, listen to this video, and actually take some of it on board because this is me giving constructive feedback. It needs to change and it needs to change for the better and I know they want the same. So hopefully we'll see some of these changes or a lot of these changes coming soon because this event that just happened highlighted so many deficiencies in the free play system that it's made me sad to see the state it's actually in when I know that it can do better. And seeing other games like Destiny like Final Fantasy XIV, two completely different genres, doing this system so well, it does get you wondering how they got it so wrong, or if it literally was just a time case. I don't know, and I don't want to make excuses for them. That's for them to defend. But what is here right now is that they need to fundamentally fix free play, because outside of the core engine, the core gameplay, the core gunplay and ability play, and the core abilities that you have, Everything else around it, the quality of life stuff that actually make the experience a whole is missing and that needs to be implemented as soon as possible. Right guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you found this useful, informative and if you did, guys please seriously tweet it out to Ben Irving, tweet it out to Mike Gamble, tweet it to Anthem Game. You know, these are the people that need to be aware of this. Share it, get it out there because we all want Anthem to improve and honestly, they need to hear this stuff, and the more they hear it, the better it is. So, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and if you do retweet the video to them or share the video, thanks so much for trying to help and make Anthem a better game. Until next time guys, remain legendary.